2020 tested everyone. The whole world went through a paradigm shift that left our community more vulnerable than ever. This year, we showed you the power of our resiliency. This year, we rose to that challenge. We didn't just survive 2020. We thrived. Move how I move and do what I say, so we run a city. We run a city. If I want the drop, they give me the case, low, keep it a milli. Keep it a milli. Big on my plays, then I got a lay low, I'ma go miss it. I'ma go miss it. I got a lot to bring to the table, they out to give me. They out to give me. We run in the city, so stand clear and follow the lead. Plug with the bars, they feed it for these, I got what they need. I'm God like in my ways, but I see you more like Jay Reed. Real quick to copy the moves, but no, we not the same breed. We don't need your approval. All y'all base, you doing it your I don't care if I load you. Stay switching it up, so that's how I do you. This off the team, you're not moving with us, then I gotta move you. If you think you're tough, well, I'm calling your bluff. I gotta school you. In 2020, we doubled our square footage, converting vacant space into a storefront generating income for local creatives and offering free wheelchair accessible space for the community. We raised over $36,000 in income for artists through the over 800 artist opportunities we created. And we more than doubled our part-time staff, hiring dedicated brain arts volunteers to paid positions. Your support is essential to this work. Help us keep our momentum. Looking into 2021, we want to secure our real estate, build more infrastructure for the community in our space, and increase our capacity to provide a living wage for our staff. 2020 has been a hell of a year, but it's also, for me, the year that I moved into my studio at Dorchester Art Project, and it's the year that became a part of my life, and it's a home that I didn't realize that I wanted and needed, but now I'm like, how did I, how did I do Boston without this place? DAP represents what grassroots community building can do for the arts. It is an example of what happens when skill and determination meet compassion and empathy. You guys creating these spaces for artists to go to and be able to express themselves at affordable prices, letting them rent rooms, letting the artists use the theater. You know, they have those places available to them. A tremendous, stupendous, amazing nonprofit who actually gives back to the community, not only in the art space, but also in the second wave of the civil rights movement. So I just wanna say thank you to Brain Arts Org for everything that you have done for us, for me, and for the community. 2020 dealt out every challenge and then some. We proved that we're not going anywhere. You can count on us.